Currently on the road to 7,000 subscribers, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated if you could take one second to drop a sub on the channel. Enjoy the rest of the video. Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy, No Limit Dots here, back with another video. And before we get into today's video, I just want to remind you all out there, the other kings and queens, and I hope you all having a very, very blessed day. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys the top five best overall builds in NBA 2K24 because you guys already know the deal. I got two goals, two missions with all of these build videos. I'm out here trying to save you guys money, right? And I'm out here trying to save you guys time and effort on grinding somebody else's trash build that they made for you. But as always, guys, this is just a template, right? You could always put your own twist to it. I make these videos as educational videos, right? Showing you which attributes get which badges and unlock which animations. You know what I mean? I'm just trying to help you guys out and send you in the right direction because these builds, these builder system, it's like a science to it. You got to become a rocket scientist and you got to figure it out and master it and i truly believe i have even though it seems as every other day mike wang is throwing out a patch and all i want patched is the out of bounds barrier because when i'm taking a jump shot standing still i don't want to be stepping out of bounds man because i'm not kevin durant with those size 20 feet all right stepping on the three-point line okay nonetheless let's go ahead and get into the first build this first build is going to be a point guard build is gonna be the weight the height's gonna be six foot two the weight's gonna be 168 pounds and then your wingspan is going to be six foot five now starting with this first build oh my bad i put a shooting guard starting with this first build the thing about it right you could play this build on every single court uh, all right maybe not i don't think this book could play twos i don't think this build could play twos but it will absolutely absolutely 100 dominate the threes and the fives i promise you that right so starting with the attributes let's go ahead with the finishing right this year it's a little tougher to get high finishing than your three-pointer me personally i would go 82 driving dunk you're gonna go with the 73 driving lit i understand a lot of people are thinking that layup is like super super overpowered if you would like to go into the the lab and practice floaters and practice your time layups around the rim then i would say you might as well go with a high layup and no driving dunk at all but there, there's a skill gap to it right if you want to learn it then do it if not i would just rock with the driving dunk it's your safest bet in my opinion then moving into the three-point shot the thing is i heard today that the silver limitless has been patched and nerfed a little bit right so you want to go with the 96 three ball gold limitless i mean how bad could they really patch a 96 three ball with gold limitless right i just I, I don't see them doing that man uh but your pass actually is also going to be an 87 you're going to be throwing absolute dots absolute steams you know me bro no limit dots always throwing the dots of the century then moving into your ball handle i personally go 92 because i really don't find a big difference between uh, your size up like Darius Garland, Derrick Rose, Trey Young, and between those three and Steve Francis, which that is the only thing you unlock by going 95 ball handle. Other than that, you unlock you unlock Hall of Fame ankle breakers. There's literally nothing else that you unlock. Well, I mean, you could go 93 for uh, for killer combos and Hall of Fame ankle breaker, but I'm gonna go just 92 ball handle. Then moving into the speedo ball, go ahead and put that thing to a 90 speed with ball then with the defense like i said before you're not gonna end up getting any defense on this build whatsoever but your acceleration is going to be elite and it's going to be at a 93 acceleration with your strength staying at 37 your vertical a 63 and then your stamina is going to go up to a 96 stamina well time out time out time out we went wrong somewhere and that is going to be in the department of your driving lip it's not gonna it's not supposed to be 75 it's supposed to be 73 okay and then you go ahead and put this to 96 and then throw the rest on your free throw to get yourself 72 free throw go ahead and advance and you'll see the shades of our 
a Rocky, I'm gonna say Steve, Kenny the Jet Smith, Damian Lillard, and D Fox. Okay, I was a I was a little late on the D Fox, but my first two guesses were correct. And then you have built a playmaking three level threat. Go ahead and show you guys the second build of the video. It's gonna be a shooting guard build, height six foot six. Your weight is gonna be 181 pounds. And then also for point guards, those small guards, the bases. I would throw on for jump shot is Ken Porter Jr., Steph Curry, or John Stockton. Pick between those three. Um, and your releases, Oscar Robertson, Trey Young, uh, Darius Garland. Really just me mess around with it. But that's the best I could give you. Then shooting guard, 6'6", six 181. Six, wingspan, 6'8", wingspan. Uh, we could go ahead and edit it from here. So your close shot is going to be a 52. Your driving layup is going to be a 72. Your driving dunk is going to be an 80. Get rid of the standing dunk completely. So your finishing is relatively decent, right? So this build also, this shooting guard build type of build is going to be able to play the one in twos. It's going to be able to play the one in threes. And then it could honestly play the one or the two in rec or pro-am. Then moving into your three-point shot, go ahead and throw it up to a 92 with your midi being a 77 mid-range. Uh, your pass sack is going to be a 75 instead of the 89. Your uh, ball end note, 92. And then your speed of ball, we're going to go ahead and throw it to an 83 speed with ball. Then moving into the defense, which is where the build excels much more differently to the first build I showed you. Your perimeter defense is going to be an 85 with your steel also being an 85 like that then moving into the physicals your speed is going to be an 80 speed 80 speed 87 acceleration with a 50 strength to get yourself uh silver no no no, no. you're gonna get yeah silver clamps your vertical goes up to a 65 and then you're gonna end up with 99 stamina so that is going to be the build to recap why i did why i did uh 80 driving dunk just to get it uh 82 you get silver limitless then the pass act 75 to get yourself uh, any de any decent relative passing. I honestly wouldn't go lower than that. Boy in low 92, get everything besides Trey Young. 85 perimeter D, get you all those silver badges. Same with steel. And yes, let's go ahead and move on to build number three before I... Let me just show you guys the shades. So we get shades of a Cav, Larry Hughes, DeJounte, and... Oh, I keep getting two out of three. But the third is going to be Austin Reeves, and you are a three-point shot hunter. Okay, then edit this build. Go ahead and move into the... The next build is going to be a small forward. But this small forward is going to be super, super, super creative and probably my favorite build that I've made so far in this entire game. So you're 6'6", six six, 190 pounds with a 7'1 wingspan. Go ahead and continue. First off, you're going to keep that 80 driving dunk for this build. Your driving layup is going to be a 67 with your close shot being a 47. So you still have decent finishing if you get called on a cut or if you need a blow by a defender and drive to the rim. This build, uh, the way I would describe it, it could be the one in twos. It could be the one or the two in threes. And this could be the two or the three in rec or pro and maybe could be the one if if given uh you know in the hands of the right type of user you know but nonetheless mid-range gonna be 70 your three ball is gonna be an 85 for that bronze limitless range then your pass accuracy is gonna be a 77 pass accuracy speed uh, ball in the 87 speed of ball is going to be a 79 speed of ball your defense is what really differentiates a lot from the second build you're gonna end up getting that 94 perimeter defense with that 80 no 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 you're gonna get 91 steel right then your uh your physicals you got 77 acceleration and then you got 90 speed 90 speed then strength is going to be 55 strength your vertical is going to be a 70 and there you go you got 90 stamina as well and then you could go ahead and throw the rest up on free throw 83 free throw so the best way i would describe this build is it is an offensive lock it could play on ball lock with this 94 91 and you could create your own shot and help out your point guard or shooting guard you could honestly yeah, like curl up to hash and start cooking into a you could you could rotate into a five out like i don't know this, this build literally the my boy my team that uses this build he's absolutely crazy with it go ahead and advance and you're gonna end up with shades of a wolf so wally zerbiak ah uh, it's wally boyan and zach levine 
and you are considered a two-way three-point shot creator. Let's go ahead and move on to build number four. Is going to be a power forward, six foot nine, 231 pounds, and then your wingspan is going to be seven foot six wingspan. Now with this build, what I will say, it could play the two in twos, it could play the three or the two in threes, and it could end up playing the four or honestly the five in fives uh depending if you run a five out it could be the five but other than that your driving dunk is going to be lower than the other one's going to be a 73 driving dunk with your driving layup being a 53 driving layup and your close shot's going to be a 33 close shot right just like that hold on okay your standing dunk is going to be we're going to give it a 45 standing dunk then your three point is going to be a 78 with your free throw being a 68 okay and then here's where the build is very different you're gonna end up with an 87 pass accuracy to get yourself that gold break starter then your ball handle you're gonna go ahead and lower this like i said this this build this build is not a guard right it's primarily focuses on its defense so you get 52 ball handle and then your speed of ball is going to be absolutely non-existent going to lower it down to a 27 but the defense is where this build excels but to recap you have the crazy good pass act you can knock down a three and you could you could you could if you can call that a cut you could finish the rock all right with a, with a little 73 driving dunk 45 same dunk at six foot nine but starting with your interior defense you want to go ahead and throw this up to an 82 because it's going to match your gold uh anchor to get uh you well you got to put the block up to 92 to get the gold anchor your perimeter defense we're going to notch this down just a little bit to give yourself 82 prim and then you're going to get the 85 steal for the silver interceptor and then the rest of it the defensive rebounding is going to be a 93 to get yourself gold rebound chaser your all board is going to be an 83 and then in the physicals 77 speed your acceleration is going to be a 62 excel your strength is going to be a 90 to get yourself hall of fame box out beast then your vertical is going to be an 85 snag every single board uh well time out time out what do we have here all right my bad your stamina is not going to be a 98 it's going to be a 95 and then you're going to put your vertical up to 85 go ahead and continue it wasn't that big of a difference honestly but your shades are going to be wow evan mobley now horford i don't know the third uh, i got two out of three it's dave deboucher uh which someone explained to me earlier uh and you're going to be a glass cleaning three-point threat but moving on to build number five is going to be a center i've uploaded a, quite a few center builds in this 2k so far but this is by far my favorite center build i gave it to my boy recently and he's been absolutely killing it if you want to go and watch my most recent video it's going to be top five best big man jump shots and he is in the uh, intro of that video absolute dog but you're going to be seven foot 233 and with a seven eight wingspan and with this build you're going to end up getting an 81 close shot right 81 close shot your drive all right well, we might have to hold on all right this one we might just have to reset we're gonna have to reset so 81 close shot to get yourself silver fast switch right your driving dunk is going to be an 82 driving dunk get yourself silver slithery and your standing dunk is going to be a 92 to get your, to actually get yourself gold fast switch then moving into shooting you're going to max it out to a 77 three ball get yourself uh, just good jump shots honestly unlocked with the 77 three ball then the pass actually you're going to go ahead and throw those up to a 76 pass act to get yourself silver break starter your ball and is going to be a 41 and then in the defensive aspect you're going to go ahead and throw your offensive rebounding up to a 93 because you are the center if you do, if you want to play twos or threes like park you want to put you want to put more on your defensive rebounding but if you're playing center in fives you want to put more on offensive rebounding but for block you're going to end up throwing it up to a 92 to get yourself a uh, gold anchor because 92 block and a 77 interior defense Give yourself 60 steel for bronze interceptor. And then moving into the physicals, you want to go ahead and give yourself 67 speed. 67 speed with a 52 acceleration. Your strength is going to end up being an 84 strength to give yourself gold box out beast. Your vertical is going to be an 80 vertical. And then you want to go ahead and max out your stamina at 92. And that should give you 
a 98 overall and the last part we're gonna go ahead and put it on our free throw to give you 72 and it seems i have some attributes left over perimeter defense if you put this up to 42 does it do anything no it doesn't do anything hold on hold on 67 speed we can honestly go ahead and throw up our free throw even more if you would like just so you don't be missing or you could go ahead and keep it at 70 can you put your pass heck up you could put up to 83 to get yourself special delivery and post playmaker and then max out the free throw and that is going to be the best actually hold on you know what i messed up here say so put this back to 76 this is the defensive rebounding i wanted to put up 82 lower this a little bit to 72 and get yourself 83 defensive rebound that's what it is so that is going to be the top five best builds in nba 2k24 for this one you get shades of two guys from new york and the utah jazz you got canby mitchell robinson and walker kessler comment down below guys which of these five builds you're looking forward to making and which one's your favorite but also comment down below which build you have made so far that is your favorite and if you guys did overall enjoy the build video make sure to drop a like comment and subscribe and it's been your boy no limit dots and i'm out peace